You are now listening to the soon-to-be number one podcast for music and entertainment news, The Blastcast. And I'm your host, just some guy named Jay. And uh, and in this installment, what I want to talk about is uh, AP9 shopping a uh, an adult flick that he did with uh, Coco T, <laughs> Ice-T's wife. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Chris Brown, too, again. So, uh... Oh, and before I do that, I want to give a shout out to Mono Baggins. Mono Baggins, he has a hot single out right now called "You Drive Me Crazy." You should definitely check it out. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put the song in the info box. Info box. <laughs> the information box below. You should definitely check it out. Post your opinions on it, and uh, definitely check out his blog too. Mono Baggins is really getting a lot of attention right now. Uh, just did an. He just did an interview with. Uh, with Stepping Out Magazine that's based in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, and he was just featured in the Blast blog. So definitely check out Mono Baggins. All right. Okay, now uh, now let me talk about this situation with uh, AP9 and, the, you know, the, you know him hooking up with Coco. Now, there's not really much I could, I guess I could say about this topic that hasn't already been said in, in a bunch of the blogs and Vlad, Vlad TV and things like that. Um... And then, and, 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 you know, it's kind of old news by now, but I just kind of wanted to uh, comment on it on the blast cast and also get your opinions on things. Um, you know, AP, AP9 is a Las Vegas-based rapper that's best known for having, <laughs> of course, unprotected sex with Ice-T's wife and bragging about it. And uh, he's also known for having less than 500 followers on Twitter. <laughs> that's not a diss. I'm pretty, you know... Um, I'm not, and to be honest with you, I'm not too familiar with AP9's work, uh, but I will check out a, check out his stuff. You know, I'm, I'm going to check him out. So, uh, so any of you guys that are AP9 fans, uh, don't, hey, they don't, don't attack. I'm just, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, stating what I, stating what information I do have. Um, you know, when I first heard the story, I thought it was just some BS. You know, just something he was saying just to get him to get his name known or get some more publicity. And then the more I kept reading into the story, I started thinking, I think this may, this might have actually happened. Because at, at one point, you know, I thought that even like I thought even Ice T was in on it. Like I was, oh, this is just some kind of big, big gag that this isn't real. This is just some made up story from FakeNews.com that they're just gonna put out there. <laughs> To, you know, to, to just you know, to just to, uh, to strike up some ratings for this for the reality show, and to uh, you know, I guess get some sales for this AP9 guy, you know, whatever the purpose was. But then I started thinking to myself, I, this might have happened, you know, and um, I, I definitely wouldn't have had unprotected sex with Coco. Um, I mean, not saying that she she may have something. I mean, I'm not saying that at all, you know. Um, who knows? But that, 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 but I mean, still, I wouldn't have risked. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know. Um, but it, it seems like AP Nine, like, uh, you know, like in addition to having, I mean, it's like he just has. The, well, I mean, it seems like he has no respect for Ice T either. I mean, just doing this, or or for himself, for actually, uh, you know, going up in Coco Raw. You know, not not saying that I'm against uh, some 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 raw sex, <laughs> kind of, but uh, but still, I mean, but of all people, Coco, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I mean, you know, and and, and, and you know, if you, if you're gonna wear a condom too, and I, this is not a, they're not a sponsor. My favorite condom is uh, <laughs> is Lifestyles, because Lifestyles just fit on you, and it just it just fits. You know, and it just feels like you don't even have a condom on. You know, so if you got to hit something raw, if you if you but you still want to be safe, get a lifestyle. No, they're not paying me to say this. <laughs> what I don't like is I'm like Trojans because you I mean, you could take you could put on a Trojan and slam your penis into a car door and you still won't feel a thing. <laughs> yeah, you don't feel a thing. You you could use you could use a Trojan condom as a bulletproof vest. <laughs> you know say you'll come up, you'll you you'll be safe. Uh. But you know, I just you know, I, there's not really much I can actually say about this situation. Like I said, it's it's, it's all been said before. Um, I just I guess the new development is that he's now he's shopping an adult video. You know, why come he just didn't say they made a flick in the first place? That's that's I guess that's another thing that that seems kind of fishy. You know, you all of a sudden you got a flick. 
How come you when you were uh first bragging about it, how come you didn't or maybe he had sex with uh Ice T's wife more than once. I don't I don't know. I guess there's all kind of information floating out there. And, you know, this is the internet. You know, um ever since that Manti Tail situation, you can't take everything on the internet seriously. Or well, shoot, you can just go to Wikipedia and, and, and see misinformation <laughs> about anything. So um but basically uh what what is your what are y'all what what do you have to say about this? Post your opinions Feel free to post your comments in the information. I mean, I, I'm going to post the information box. Post your inf post your comments in the comment section below, and uh, just let's let's get an open discussion about this. If you want to if you want to make a response to this video, do that as well. Just want to see uh, what you all say about this. And um, has he been has he been a guest on the Wendy Williams show yet? I don't know. It seems like this is where this is headed. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, also, I want to talk about the Chris Brown hate. You know, you know how I feel about Chris Brown. I, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm for him. You know, I, I feel that it's, it's just unfair. He made him. It's a kid that made a mistake. Uh, oh, he beat Rihanna, but I mean, so whole, lots of women get beat, and the, and the spouse just like, 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 like I said, like, you know, like the situation between Sean Penn and Madonna. They said that, uh, you know, they were saying that they were using, uh, they had to use a fake applause. For uh, for Chris Brown when his name got mentioned for the nominee for the nomination, and uh, but I'm saying that they use fake applause for Chris for Sean Penn <laughs> after he beat up uh, Madonna, and I'm pretty sure when he when he was on the Oscars, you know, I'm saying I, I mean you know we, we they want to bring up Chris Brown every five minutes, but uh, but did you hear about that uh, what's that what's that kid um you know Larry Bird's son. Larry Bird's son smacking up his girlfriend, and and, and 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 radio stations are making jokes about it, you know. But uh, but it's okay to uh, to keep talking about Chris Brown, of course, you know. Um, but I'm not going to really get too much into that. Like I said, I have a whole. You already heard the pod. Probably uh, you you guys can check out that podcast, uh, one of the early ones I made. You know, talking about you know how I feel about Chris Brown. Um. And uh, you know, a lot of people made a made a comment about Frank about uh Chris Brown not getting up for Frank Ocean, you know. And I understand, you know, you got to be the bigger man and all this stuff like that. But I mean, they just got into a fight recently. I mean, I, I even if it wasn't Chris Brown, I wouldn't I wouldn't stand up for something like this. I, I'd be I'd be like f him. You know, who cares? You know, if, if they said uh, Frank Ocean's name, I would have just whatever f him. You know. Um, and now they're trying to say something, you know, they're trying to say that Adele and Chris Brown had some words at the, uh, Grammys. Uh, you know, after, you know, this picture was circulating around, it looks like they're, you know, it looks like they're arguing, it looks like they're, you know, saying something to each other, it doesn't look too nice. But, Adele has come out and has actually been responding, saying that, uh, no, we're just congratulating each other. Very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, that that's good that, you, that Adele congratulated uh, Chris Brown, and Chris Brown did the same for Adele. You know, and it's good that they wasn't they weren't actually in an argument, which I don't, which I wouldn't have believed anyway, because you know how the media is trying to, you know, make Chris Brown uh, trying to make him seem like he's some kind of Ike Turner or something like that, which is I don't think is he's anywhere near that. You know, but uh, also feel free to post your opinions on that as well. You know about what you feel about the uh, any kind of Chris Brown hate that's been going on recently, and the stuff you know, and the, and the you know, happened at the Grammys and things, and um, you know if the, if the applause was fake or not, you know. Uh, let's see. Um, oh yeah, and another thing too. Getting back on Mono Baggins, you know, I think who I think would Mono Baggins would do a good duet with. I think uh, Chris Brown and Mono Baggins. I think a Chris Brown and uh, Mono Baggins song would be a great collaboration. You know, I, I, you know, definitely check out the song and 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 see for yourself. You know, maybe uh, you know Chris Brown could probably do a little, you know, something on the hook of a future Mono Baggins song. You know, but that, but you know, definitely post your opinions on that as well. All right, um, all right. It was enough rambling for now. Um, I'm also going to be doing some more interviews too. You know, I just you know I had. Two interviews. We interviewed uh, Michael Bentley of Spin Doctor of the Spin Doctor PR firm, and uh, we also interviewed uh, you know Mono Baggins too. So uh, we're gonna I'm gonna start hooking up some more interviews for the Blastcast uh, soon, and uh, also too I'm gonna keep my promise. I'm gonna you know interview some of these uh, industry insiders so they could talk more about 
the behind the scenes things in the industry and, and kind of give advice and things like that. I know in the in the past couple of uh, the the past couple of posts, it's just been me uh, rambling about things that's happened in music and entertainment. But uh, but yeah, like I said, you keep checking out the blast cast. Want to you know we're definitely going to get back on the uh, the original topics and things like that. Um, and also too. Uh, if you're an artist and you need more promotion or need more email blasts, definitely hit up the Giant Blast, uh, the Giant Blast at AOL.com, and they'll definitely uh, advertise your music. And you know, even all you know, there's a chance for me advertising here on the Blastcast as well. And uh, you can also get your music advertised in the Giant Blast cell phone app. I'm gonna put the links to the cell phone app in the information box below too. You know, so if you want to, you know, get your stuff advertised on the cell phone app. And also, if you just want to get the cell phone app just to check out the updates and things like that, you know, do that as well. You know, get, you know, check out some new music, music news and things like that. Um, okay, that's enough of me rambling. I just wanted to say what I had to say. Feel free to post your comments. Again, I'm just some guy named Jay. And uh, take care. <laughs>